GPT AI Power's newest feature, Google Sheets Support, is probably one of the auto writer's best options. This seems difficult at first, but in reality, it's super straightforward to set up. To use the Google Sheets feature, create a service account in your Google Cloud Console and upload your credentials to the plugin. First, visit your Google Cloud Console dashboard. Next, click the drop down menu in the top left corner and select Create New Project. Now select your project and click on the dashboard link. Click on Go to APIs Overview. Now click on Enable APIs and Services. Type Sheet and press Enter. Click on Google Sheets API. Next, click the Enable button. Now navigate to Credentials. Next, click on Create Credentials and choose Service Account. Assign a name to your service account and click the Done button at the bottom. Click on your service account and go to the Keys tab. Now click on Add Key and select Create New Key. Choose JSON and click Create. This action will now save your private key to your computer, likely in the Downloads folder. Locate your downloaded credentials file in your download folder. This file grants access to the Google Sheets API. In the plugin's Auto Content Writer page, go to the Google Sheets tab and click Choose to upload your JSON file. Click the Save button. A successful message should appear, indicating that the file has been successfully uploaded. Congratulations, you've successfully created and uploaded your credentials. The next step is to set up the cron job to activate all the grayed out fields. Ensure that you include the specific PHP command for the Google Sheets job in your cron job configuration to make it functional. You can find your PHP command under the Google Sheets tab. Your PHP command may vary depending on your server setup. For instance, my PHP command is php slash var slash www slash html slash index.php. And this is what my cron job setup looks like. Once the cron job setup is complete, you should see a message stating, great, it looks like your cron job is running properly. You should now be able to use Google Sheets. Additionally, all previously grayed out fields will now be activated, allowing you to proceed to the next step, adding the Google Sheet URL adding the Google Sheet URL and configuring permissions. First, visit your Google Drive. Create a new folder. Now download the sample CSV found under the Google Sheets tab, or you can download it here. Upload the sample CSV to your folder. Now open the CSV by double-clicking it and click the Share button in the top right corner. Return to your Google Console and copy the service account address. Go back to Google Sheets and add this address in the Share window. Ensure you select Editor and click the Share button. This action shares your Google Sheet with your service account, allowing it to update the sheet. You can now enter your titles, keywords, and other details per row. Note that you must use the exact same format. If you change the location of any column, it will not work properly. The first column is for your Titles field, and this is mandatory. The second column is for Retrieve. This is mandatory as well. Make sure you put No in the column. No indicates that the row has not yet been processed by our plugin. Once processed, it will be updated to Yes to prevent duplicates. Always set this field to No when adding new entries. If left empty or set to any other value than No, the plugin will ignore it. The third column is Status, which is optional. It could be Draft or Published. If left empty, your post will be sent to Draft as default. The next column is Category ID, which is also optional. But don't use the category name here. You're going to have to use your category IDs. You can also leave this field blank. The fifth column is the author ID, and it's optional as well. This is where you'll put the author username. The sixth column is for tags you might want in the article. This is optional, and you can leave it empty as well. The seventh column is for keywords you want included in each article, but you can leave this one blank too. The eighth column is for keywords to avoid in each article, and it's optional as well. Column 9 is for any anchor text you want added to the article. You can leave this field empty. Column 10 is for a target URL. You can also leave this field empty. Column 11 is for a call to action or a CTA if you want one included in the articles. You can leave this field blank as well. After setting up your Google Sheet, copy its URL and paste it into the plugin. Make sure your URL format is the same, like this. Paste the URL in the text field and hit the Save button. 
wait for at least one minute based on the cron job interval and refresh your page. There are two more additional options under the Google Sheets tab. First, row update per minute. The default value is 60. Avoid changing this value unless you have a special quota from Google. This setting means that the plugin will process 60 rows per minute from the spreadsheet. Next is constant crawling. If set to yes, the plugin will constantly check your Google Sheet for new rows. The frequency of the check depends on your cron job interval. For example, if your cron job interval is set to every minute, the plugin will check for new rows every minute. Now, if you see a notification stating file is accessible, congratulations. This means your Google Sheet can now be accessed by our plugin and you can begin adding rows to your sheet. Once you've added some rows to your spreadsheet and it begins, you can track your job status in the Q tab. If you have any more questions about how to implement Google Sheets with GPT AI Power, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and we hope this helped.